Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novus Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a super easy way to get XRDP installed on your Ubuntu desktop. So let's get started. Now I like to use XRDP over TeamViewer or VNC or any remote desktop software just because it's natively installed on Windows. This way when I use a Windows machine like on my mom's machine or at work, I don't have to install any extra software to remote into my Linux machine here at home. That's just the only advantage. Now you could use anything you want, but I prefer to use XRDP. Now, XRDP is also not an easy way to install. You can install the software itself, but there's a lot of settings that required to get it properly running with your desktop environment. There's there's also different desktop environments that requires a lot more configurating. Also, audio has to be configured properly to get it passed through. There's just a lot of things that you have to remember on each step to get XRDP to work. So yes, it sounds very tedious and it is if you're doing it manually. So good thing there is an actual easy to use script that can install and compile everything you need to get everything working for XRDP on your Ubuntu desktop. So let's jump into it. Right here, I have a fresh install of Zubuntu or Xubuntu, which is using XFCE4 on Ubuntu itself. Like I literally just installed this about 15 minutes ago to show this demonstration. Now I am running my Proxmox environment, so it is a VM. So it doesn't really matter because a lot of the times when I need something, I would use it off a of VM anyway. Or if you, this also works on Raspberry Pi, Tinkerboards, or anything that's ARM. So it doesn't necessarily need to use it on x86 environment. Now, we're gonna head over to this website itself called uh, Easy Install XRDP or C Energy. It's Griffin's IT library. And I'll leave a link down in the description below, but he does update these versions. Now, this one is as recent as October 25th, which is a couple of days ago. So this does get maintained and updated all the time. Now, you could see that this actually works for, let me pull down the list. Uh, Ubuntu 18.20. I actually started using this script since 18.04. But yeah, it supports 18.04, 20, 22, 04, and 22.10. Also Debian and Debian 11. But on Debian 11, you do need to run in custom mode, which will actually compile XRDP from scratch. Um, these are the installations that it works with. Kubuntu, Xubuntu, Pop OS, it even works, or Linux Mint. So if you guys are running into problems getting XRDP to work on your Ubuntu, this is for you, absolutely. Now, I'm gonna jump into Terminal, and there is this script right here to grab. So I'm just gonna grab this real quick, and I'm gonna paste it into my Terminal. Paste. And now I have XRDP. I just list the structure right here. Uh, do I have unzip on this computer? I do. So I'm gonna unzip XRDP installer 1-4.4.zip. And it comes with a script. That's really what it is. So if you scroll down, it's just gonna tell you unzip and then chmod to turn it into executable. And then you could run it as a normal, oh, well, run it as a normal user. Here are the switches that you can use. There's help sound, login screen, remove, or custom. Custom will actually compile from source, which will, you will get the latest and greatest version of XRDP if you want. So keep in mind um, what you're trying to install, if you need the latest or not. But I tend to use this as last case scenario because XRDP is already in the repositories of Ubuntu. But if it has an issue or I want the latest version, then I'll use custom, but you can. So in most cases, what I would actually do is just dash S to get the sound installed. And that is it. Now, I am gonna run this installer script right here. So chmod xrdp, oops, dot sh. So now I turn this from a gray color to a green color, which means it's executable. Then I'll just run as a normal user, don't use sudo. And there we have it. Oh, you know what, I gotta cancel this. The reason is because I forgot to add the dash s. So, Let's go XRDP-S to install with sound. So now it's gonna go through all the prompts, install all the uh, requirements that it needs to get um, everything working. It also supports multi-user. So I'm gonna let this run in the background. So if you need to log in with multiple different users, this script will actually enable that. So you can now log in from, you know, if you got multiple users to the same desktop, much like you would have terminal service. And uh, sound works right off the bat, so it's able to pass through RDP, so that works pretty well. 
The script takes generally about 10 minutes, I think, to run. That's as much as I remember because generally I would just install it, run it, and then let it go for a, sec a few. And then I think it's about 10 minutes, downloads everything it needs, and then installs it. So we're going to jump to that point in time. All right. So the script is all installed. It actually took about like four or five minutes. So it wasn't that long at all. Now, it does require you, if you do have sound working, um, turn that off. I mean, I'll shut down the system. So I am going to do that completely. But first, I want to do IP ADDR to get the IP address. This way, I know what to remote into. So I'm going to do 228. OK, so I'm going to do power off. It's going to shut down the system. OK, now I'm going to restart it. So I'm going to start it back up. It takes a couple of seconds to boot the system up. XFCE is really quick to start up. So while I am waiting for that to boot up, I am going to run Remina. OK, this, that's the one I like to use. And I'm going to make a new connection over to 192.168.105.228. The username and the password that I'm going to be using. I'm going to make sure that that's to one, two, save this. And I am going to connect. So as soon as you get this, you know it works because it's getting a reply. So I'm going to hit yes for the certificate. And it's going to pump, jump me right into the desktop. And there we have it. Now I am going to do, is it this one? Dynamic scaling. There you go. I do like this feature on Remina where I have dynamic scaling. And there we have our desktop. I could load up files. I can move stuff around. I should be able to browse my network. I'm going to pop into Firefox. Let me close this out. And maybe jump into YouTube.com. Uh, I'm going to head over to Anova Spirit Tech. And let's pop over to one of my latest videos, which is a really pretty, it's a pretty good one. I like this one. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from and there we have Techno. Welcome Audio back Pass to the channel. And from RDP I got a really cool over project for you guys today. Right here. It's something I really recommend you guys doing, which is transcoding. So that's it. It was a matter of just running the script and I could get RDP working, audio pass through. It's depending on what desktop you're using, it also creates all the scripts that it needs to get everything running. So it's a super easy way to install XRDP. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below or on my Discord. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts.